uh, take 564, June 9th and 10th, we are looking at the Hanged Man in reverse, the Five of Wands, and the Hermit in reverse. I'm just going to power through this. It's so long. Stay out of it. After seeing so many sharp young readers use this deck, I finally had to have it, and so bought myself the fresh little all-girl modern witch tarot. With two major arcana on the table, and both in the reverse, no less, the clean, colorful, and creative scenes are going a long way to lighten up this otherwise even concerning picture. In the center, and today's minor arcana energy, is the card of anxiety, both mental and social, the Five of Wands. It's an odd card of competition and debate, which is why I imagine it's also the card of social anxiety. This is a worrisome, nervous card. On the olden time Five of Wands or clubs, a group of young men trying to prove themselves by waving their wands around, and if you'd like to appreciate the double entendre, you are welcome to. The suit of wands is all about that aggressive rooster energy. I'm always happier to read the Five of Wands from a distance. Which is why this card is so much fun in the modern witch deck. Five young girls who are all apparently, as their traditional male ancestors, all from different places, yet on the same team. This is a card of team competition as well, so it looks like the girls are all in the game today, and they're all in it to win it. One is in a cool black military-type jumpsuit, very chic, another in a schoolgirl or sailor-type uniform or dress, another in a long white coat, her hairdo a feisty poof of red. The girls also brandish long batons, and should we wonder what the conflict is, perhaps it's because for some reason... Two of the girls are wearing what look to be surgical-type masks, one white and one gaily polka-dotted. I want to be alone, Greta Garbo said, a Virgo, who later also said she never said, I want to be alone. On either side of this rumble are Major Arcana in the form of the Hanged Man, Pisces, Neptune, number 12, and the Hermit, number 9, Virgo, are today both in the reverse. Both are cards of voluntary solitude and... In the reverse, we either need to double down on the withdrawal and detachment or just get out there and take our chances with the mask and the unmasked and the vaccinated and the unvaccinated and whoever and whatever. These defensive poles the girls are using to protect themselves on the five of wands honestly look to be about six feet long. The hanged man, who in the reverse in the modern witch deck is a fit-looking young woman in very cute workout gear and white running shoes, enjoys her yoga hanging upside down in a meditative state. Stress flows out, ideas and clarity flow in. A fresh rush of blood to the head. This is peaceful detachment. Time out to get in touch with your source. You need this card to deal effectively with the everyday battle that is the Five of Wands in the present. The Hanged Man is a card of self-sacrifice, and in the past position, sacrifices have certainly been made, and we relearn how to rejoin the human race. We've had shots, masks, and distance, and time out. As a Virgo, the Hermit is my card, and in this deck, I'm definitely into her look. Chic, long white hair, gray hooded cloak, black dress, single simple gold star pendant, bare feet, and of course, a laptop she's closing up for the night sits on a lovely old carved wooden chest of drawers. The Hermit is the wisdom and knowledge of old age. In the reverse, you're not as old as you think you are, or way too old for the maskless, rowdy crowd on the Five of Wands. The Essentials. I mentioned to someone recently the book Lost Horizon by James Hilton, originally published in 1934, which was before even my time. It's a quirky, challenging read for sure. The story is of a plane carrying a small group of Brits, from what I remember, crashing in the Himalayas, who are saved and taken in by the monks at Shangri-La, a Tibetan monastery built impossibly high up in the mountains. Everything they need is there, food, library, musical instruments, animals, company... And the inhabitants of the monastery seem ageless, over a hundred years old. Some of the guests decide there is no reason to leave. In fact, this must be heaven. While some only want to get back to Western civilization as fast as they can. 